This is the second of the brand new uh, Plasnitz additions to this exhibition. And um, the, one of the reasons that we've brought these in now is that uh, not only uh, sort of to focus on on uh, our Canadian activity like hockey, bears are found in, in northwestern Canada, or this brown bears are found in northwestern Canada. It's also a, a renewal of interest in the exhibition. Uh, we're part way through. The exhibition goes on until February to the 28th. So here's a chance in the new year to add some some new life to the exhibition by bringing in these these new preparations. And um, this one is really remarkable. Uh, this is a brand new one, uh, just finished this year. Um, and uh, really, people have seen lots of pictures of grizzly bears. They've seen them or brown bears. They've se they've seen them uh, in zoos. But here's a rare chance, uh, uh, really a, a, a unique chance to see what they look like inside. I really like this exhibit because they made it more open, like they actually show what the bear looks like and they give you information about it. It looks really lifelike. What strikes me, or what struck me when I first saw this, was the immediately, knowing human anatomy like I do, how similar, or how I could identify a lot of the muscles in this bear, and how similar they were to the shape of the muscles in humans, but how different they are uh, depending on how they're used in the bear. So the, the chest muscles uh, of the bear are, they're shaped the same way as they are in humans, but they're so much bigger. And the leg muscles, because the legs are relatively short, the muscles have a different shape, but they are this, they, they basically do the same sorts of things, but they're just a different, different size and shape but they're immediately identifiable as, as the muscles that you would see in, in some of the other preparations here, the, the muscles that you see in humans. Um, I, I think it's quite remarkable um, uh, to see, be able to see something like this and, and give, it gives you a little bit of a hint in, in how the bears use their muscles, a little bit about their lifestyle and their habits um, and, and how they spend their time because you can see which muscles they would use to do climbing or ripping open logs to find uh, their food or f grabbing fish from, from fast root ri moving rivers or whatever. And uh, really to be able to see this um, and get a, a kind of a very interesting view about their lifestyle by just looking at their muscles is quite uh, special and, and uh, to me it's, it's really remarkable.